Molten Carbonate Fuel Cell Introduction The molten carbonate fuel cell uses a molten carbonate salt as the electrolyte. It has the potential to be fueled with coal-derived fuel gases, methane, or natural gas. These fuel cells can work at up to 60% efficiency. In molten carbonate fuel cells, negative ions travel through the electrolyte to the anode where they combine with hydrogen to generate water and electrons. Molten carbonate fuel cells are currently being developed for natural gas and coal-based power plants for electrical utility, industry, and military applications. Corrosion-resistant materials for components as well as fuel cell designs are being exposed that increase cell life without decreasing performance. The primary disadvantage of current technology is durability. The high temperature at which these cells operate and the corrosive electrolyte used accelerates component breakdown and corrosion, decreasing cell life. Molten carbonate fuel cells are high temperature fuel cells that use an electrolyte composed of a molten carbonate salt mixture suspended in a porous, chemically inert ceramic lithium aluminum oxide matrix. Since they operate at extremely high temperatures of 650 degrees Celsius and above, non-precious metals can be used as catalysts at the anode and cathode, reducing costs. Unlike alkaline, phosphoric acid, and polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cells, molten carbonate fuel cells don't require an external reformer to convert more energy-dense fuels to hydrogen. Due to the high temperature at which they operate, these fuels are converted to hydrogen within the fuel cell itself by a process called internal reforming, which also reduces cost. As we all know, at anode there is oxidation takes place and at the cathode, there is reduction takes place. The conducting ion in such a cell is carbonate ion. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more videos, bye bye, see you.